Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your studies and have a better preparations for your upcoming examination. And today's lesson is reviewing past year chemistry multiple choice exam questions for winter 2019 part one of two. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one. Pure water boil at 100 Celsius. What happened to the water particles when water boils? The answer for this is the particle gain more energy and move faster and faster. They move further apart. So the answer would be A. Which method should be used to separate a mixture of two liquids? Fractional distillation is used in separations of two miscible liquids. The answer will be D. Lead to iodide is insoluble in water and is made by adding aqueous lead to nitrate to aqua potassium iodide. Which pieces of apparatus are needed to obtain solid lead to iodide? from 20 cm cube of aquas lead to nitrate. So basically, you can imagine that you need a beaker for to, to fill with water. And that is the answer for number one. And then, what it does is, is made by adding aquas lead to nitrate to aqua potassium iodide. You need a container which can be measured and can mix this solution. So basically, you need number five. One and number five. It could be the answer B or the answer C. And the lastly, you have which pieces of apparatus are needed to obtain solid lead to iodide from 20 centimeters cube of aquas lead to nitrate. So basically you need a filtration. So you need to have option number four. So the answer would be one, four, and five. So the answer will be C. The chromatogram substance S is shown. Some distances W X, Y, and Z are labeled on the diagram. How is the R value of substance S calculated? So in this case, you want to get the value of R. So R is a distance from baseline to center of spot. Basically, we can have Y and the distance of solvent, solvent from the baseline. So this is the distance solver from the baseline. So basically y divided by x. So the answer will be c. Which row describe isotope of the same element? Isotopes are members of a family of an element that have the same number of proton but different number of neutron. So the answer will be c. Which row describe the structure of the positive ion in sodium chloride? So basically, we have proton 11, electron 11, and neutron 12. So the answer will be A. Which a statement about copper, diamond, and silicon for iodide oxide is correct? Copper is a solid metal and its structure can be described as a lattice of positive ion in a C electron. So the similar answer will be the structure of copper includes a lattice of positive ion. Because of this structure, it has high electrostatic attraction between the positive ion and electron. So the answer will be D. Number eight, an oxide of nitrogen has the following composite by mass M34.3. 
30.4% and oxygen 69.6%. It has a relative molecular mass of 92. What is the molecular formula of the oxide of nitrogen? So the question we want to know about the molecular formula of the oxide of nitrogen. Before we proceed to the molecular formula, let's look into what is the empirical formula. In 100 gram of this compound, there are 30.4 gram nitrogen and the balance is oxygen. That means nitrogen plus oxygen, it becomes 100. And then divide through by the atomic mass in order to approach the empirical, the empirical formula. 30.4 divided by 14.01 gram of nitrogen, we get the value of 2.17 mole of nitrogen. Same thing goes to oxygen divided by number of mole for oxygen. You get the value of 4.35 mole. And then, among the two, you divided the smallest number. So, in this case, nitrogen divided by 2.7, you get the value of 1. And oxygen, the value that you calculated earlier, divided by 2.17, you get the value of 2.004. And rounded to the nearest decimal point, you get the value of 2. So, the value now is NO2 is the empirical formula. So, to get the value of molecular formula, what you have to do is you have to multiply the value NO2 with the 2. So, you have get, you get here is N represent 1, O is actually 2. So, when you multiply the value with the 2, you get N2, O4. So, this is the example, the value to calculate the molecular formula. So the answer for this would be D. Calcium carbonate react with dilute hydrochloric acid according to the equation shown below. 10 gram of calcium carbonate is reacted, reacted with 100 centimeter cube of one mole hydrochloric acid. So the following statements are made. So which statement about the reactions are correct? So the quest, the answer for number. 9 would be 1 and 2, which is 1.2 decimeter cube of carbon dioxide is formed. And second, 5.6 gram of calcium chloride is formed. Which a substance is not produced during the electrolysis of concentrated aqua sodium chloride. During the electrolysis, Hydrogen and chloride ions are removed from solution, whereas sodium and hydroxide ions are left behind in solution. And this means that sodium hydroxide is also formed during the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution. So now the question asks which substance not produced during electrolysis? If you look here is, they produce chlorine, they produce hydrogen, right? And also sodium hydroxide, which are not produced is will be sodium. Aqueous copper to sulfate is electrolyzed to ring using copper electrode. What are the ionic half equation for the reaction that occurs at each electrode? So you might see the half equation is Cu2 plus plus 2 electron to produce Cu. The hydroxide ion is more reactive than the sulfate ion. Therefore, this form water and oxygen at the positive electron. So, it stated that at the cathode, they produce Cu2 positive plus 2E and these two reactions to produce Cu. So, at where? At the uh, positive electrode. So, cathode is the positive electrode. So, what is actually at the end is G. If you can switch the equation to become Cu and 
to form Cu to positive plus 2e. The answer will be A. E. 10 gram of ammonia nitrate is added to water at 25 Celsius and the mixture stir. The ammonium nitrate dissolved and after one minute, the temperature of the solution is 10 Celsius. Which would describe this change? As the temperature is decreased, the energy is absorbed and thus this reaction is called endothermic. Hydrogen reacts with chlorine according to the following equation. H2 mixed with Cl2 to form 2HCl. The reaction is exothermic. Which a statement about this reaction is correct. This reaction is exothermic where energy absorbed for bond breaking is greater than the energy released in bond making so the answer will be a hydrogen oxygen fuel cells can be used to power cars platinum is used as a catalyst the amount of energy produced per gram is shown for three fuel hydrogen methane and petrol so which statement is correct and is an advantage of a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell what do you think for this answer so, statements are correct and advantage of the hydrogen oxygen flow cell is the only product is water. A student at dilute hydrochloric acid at two different temperatures to two different lumps of limestone. The lumps of limestone have the same mass. The carbon dioxide gas produced is collected in a gas shrink. The volume of carbon dioxide collected in one minute at each temperature is shown. So in this table, it shows that during at 25 Celsius, the volume of carbon dioxide produced in one minute per centimeter cube is 10. And when the temperature increases to 50, the volume of carbon dioxide produced in one minute is about 40 centimeter cube. Which a role describe and explain the result obtained at 50 cm compared with 25? When the reaction rate is higher, energy of collisions also higher. That's why the volume of carbon dioxide produced is greater when the temperature is higher. Which reaction is reversible? Okay, from this, this reaction is reversible. If you can see, we can write both reaction in the same equation. You look at this. CuSO4 plus 5H2O. So you see, you can get CuSO4 plus 5H2O. Some nitrogen dioxide gas was put in a shrink. In a gas shrink, the end of the gas shrink is sealed. A reversible reaction occurs and the reaction reaches equilibrium. The forward reaction is exothermic, which statement about the reaction is correct. If the volume, if the volume in the gas shrink is decreased, the color becomes lighter. The reactions between magnesium and carbon dioxide is shown in the equation 2Mg plus CO2, which is a react to become 2MgO plus C, which a statement describes what happened in the reaction. It's actually the carbon in carbon dioxide is reduced. You can see. Okay. Which changes involve reduction and oxidation reduction, which is redox reaction, is a type of chemical reaction that involves a transfer of electron between two species. And in redox reaction, the oxidation number of molecule atom ion changes by gaining or losing an electron. So in the reactions of COO plus H2, 
and to become Cu plus H2O. So in the reaction of H2 is oxidized since it has lost electron and Cu is reducing it has gained electron. So the option two is involved reduction and as well as number three. Al3 positive plus three, three electron to produce Al. And number 20, barium hydroxide is an alkaline. It reacts with hydrochloric acid. How does the pH of the hydrochloric acid change as an excess of aqua barium hydroxide is added? Because the pH increases from pH 1 to about pH 4. When excess of aqua barium hydroxide is added to hydrochloric acid, the pH of hydrochloric acid will increase from 1 to about 14. So the answer will be 20. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study and upcoming examination. Uh, please subscribe to Jom Study Lab YouTube channel. Customized notes are available at http beacons.ai slash jomstudylab or the other options you can access to Beacon page is via Jom Study Lab Instagram. And that's all for today's presentation and see you later. Thank you very much.